And hello everyone friends, Potatoes are with you, and today we have another new invention under consideration from our famous subscriber Gauze. Today, he built us, look at this huge robot that will just demolish all the worlds. And moreover, it is very compact and quite simply made. You listen, it's just brilliant. As they say, the most brilliant thing is the simplest. Therefore, we look until the very end. Today we will have very interesting releases. I think that based on this robot, you will be able to do even more of these similar things. But before you start watching, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and also be sure to click on the bell, so as not to miss the daily videos. Your activity supports me, because now there is no monetization, and even llamas have come to me to support me. That's why you support me, just like and subscribe to the channel. But we're getting started. So well, he appeared near a barrel like this, and another pulpit, so let's start with what is written there. Hi how are you? I'm great. I'm recording a video clip now, and I'm going to watch your very cool robot. I don't know how but I'm fine. I still train from time to time. And not only that, now, I am a teacher, and I am responsible for the Department of Applied Automation. Whoa. And courses at the same time in Minecraft. Whoa. Look, this is a shock. In Minecraft courses of what? I will be waiting for you in the summer, on my Ms. and Pi 2020 course, apparently the name of the course. And now you have a fur in front of you, and in fact, I strongly advise subscribers to download this map, and make this robot hands. Imagine how much you can do here. Potatoes can break the glass on top, it's more convenient. So, the glass is probably over there on top, just to fly in once. And what's in the barrel here? And this is rather a schematic of this robot. Listen to the cool Mechavi 1, that is, version 1. I think that in the future, yes, we will come up with something and make a huge such fur in general. Well, let's look at it for you for now. As I understand it, we will have at least exactly move. After all, you see here he has such legs arms, and I think that it will be all mobile and in short cool. Also, for some reason, the map is slightly torn there. I suspect what he wanted to possibly do. Here, by the way, there is also some kind of failure, some kind of hole broken. By the way, there is something that there is such a sign here. So for some reason, his legs ran away when they should have. Well, in short, most likely he can make some kind of TNT gun in his hand here. Listen really, I think it's possible to make furs with a TNT cannon, it would be very cool. So, okay, let's still continue to consider this robot. He has a shorter arm like a saw, a drill arm and also many. As I understand it, all of this will be moving now, and we will consider a little later Hi, Let's break the roof down here, really from above, I don't know, we'll make a hole for ourselves, 3x3, three three, for a fat potato, and land right here. So, we have buttons. This interesting button is active. Yes, this button is also active, and this button, and these levers and ut. My god, but what should I do? The doors are opening, let's open more doors in short, so that just in case there is something to go out and see. In short, I don't even know where to start. Let's click on this button. What is it? Yeah, got it, got it. We are moving to. Oh my god. What is it? Our roof broke. Ah, I get it. In short, here we just had the blocks not attached, because we broke them there. Okay, that's all good. What do we have in general? How are turns carried out? I still don't get it. We have it turning. Let's look again from the side. So in that direction, and he just turns relative to his body. That is, his head roughly turns. So great. But this way it will naturally be the other way, yes, that is, aha, everything is fine. And what do the rear buttons do? Let's check it out. Some kind of mixer. What is it? That we turned on some mixers. In general, the mixers should have been turned on. Stop. Look, I heard some kind of slime. Most likely it is disconnected. Come on. So click, and yes, in short, here we can have nozzles. Here's about the nozzles by the way, again, you can attach some TNT cannon or something similar here. I think it will be very cool. In short, we can even make a robot that will sow, I don't know wheat and the like, like plowing. In short, we can even do it on the peaceful side. So, but here, respectively, we have connected, and the right side is disconnected. Great, we have dealt with this. And so on. It's interesting here, why we have water and lava, I think it's just for beauty. Well, now the most interesting thing is, how does it move with us? As I understand it, you can move forward, to the left, like a crab, to the right and back. Well, let's start with the simplest, go ahead. Awesome. Seriously? Just like that? And I'm just in shock. How? This? I don't understand at all. And how is he? I don't understand. I don't understand how it moves. Listen. Like, where does he have delays at all? So wait, we need it somehow. And this is just a shock. Me, me. That's it. We need to turn it off. Did you have time? So, no. Turned off, right? Everything? Phew. 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 I don't understand how he walks. Let's figure it out. So, and we have his lever right here. Let's better look through F3 plus N. What is here? 
how is the signal transmitted at all, and how is it transmitted? Question. Apparently, it's like a real message to pass here. And I got it. In short, look here, the redstone signal is transmitted here. It's very ingenious. It's just as brilliant as possible. This is where the raster stone and two redstones are activated, and not the active one. That is, first, it is transmitted here. Here we somehow transmit it, and it moves. Then, everything moves in this way and is transmitted here. That is, this little thing becomes right here, and, accordingly, it also receives a signal here. So here, we already have this lever, activates this one and this one. That is, here we will move it, as I understand it, in that direction. Let's check it out. Yes, it's brilliant. This. This is very, this is the maximum. I can't imagine that at all. You figure it out, so you need to have time to click. Did you have time? No, we didn't have time. Phew, everyone had time. We crashed into another house. Oh my god, this is as brilliant as possible. Now we will probably recreate it with the help of this schematic cannon. Well, in short, I even I do not know it. There are no delays here, do you think? There is not a single delay. And it moves in this way. This is as revolutionary as possible, seriously. I'm really in shock. I didn't expect it to move like that. I think there will be some delays, somewhere on the map to be. And here it is. is. Really, everything ingenious is the simplest. He simplified everything so much, and literally a single roadstone signal without any delays, and it moves as quickly as possible. Of course, nothing will work now. I do not know how it was possible to guess before this. This man is a genius. Well, in short, I rearranged this map, and now we have everything here in a new way. Here it is, our grumble is worth it, and let's check out the other sides after all. So, let's make a smaller hole, and now try to move it, let's say to the left. So, we have already moved to the right, and of course to the left, it just moves perfectly. There is an estimate, really that's why he moves like that. Literally, two receivers with a signal, and four with a scar of dust. That's it. Well, four more levers. All this is as simple as possible. I don't stop repeating it because, well, seriously, you figure it out, someone will guess. It's as simple as possible. It's like I don't know, two plus two, and it's as brilliant as possible. It's me. I do not know how to describe it anymore, because I think that you yourself agree with me. You are just in shock now from this robot movement. You will go to the server and just be surprised if you see someone, well, up to this point, if someone had such a robot, because it is as simple as possible, and moves very quickly. Yes, and how spectacular. That's how you know some kind of arc. Yes, with all that, you can also make some hands. The truth is they don't move, that's what's bad. But, I think that naturally, it can all be automated very simply, with the help of literally two hinges. And just like they will move back and forth or, in short, from above, she has another antenna for beauty, this is also apparently for beauty, I think. Here, what else does he have here? Here's the power supply. See what kind of washing. There are literally four fans in the case, and magma is also naturally gears to power. And wait, he also has a sequencer, but this is interesting by the way. So in the sequencer, turn 90 degrees. Well, that of course could still be expected. 90 degrees just turns as simply as possible, again perpendicular to the shorter they move, and that's it. Nothing else. They are powered here, with the help of this case, but there is something wrong with a mechanical rotator. Oh well. It's just to move the booth itself. There's nothing else. It's very simple and very ingenious. Well, there was a potato with you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, put likes, write comments. So click on the bell, because all this motivates me very much to create new daily videos. And even more so, you will be happy. You will follow every video and do not miss anything.